so it is saying that consider the following c program segment the tn denotes this is the program segment the tn denotes the number of times the for loop is executed by the program on input n okay so the for loop is executed by the program on input n when the input is n the for loop is going to be executed which of the following is true they are asking which of the following is true okay in the option they are given the worst case and the uh best case in best case what is going to be the time complexity and worst case what is going to be the time complexity first table worst case what are you going to get worst case worst case time complexity and best case so given this code they are asking what is the best case and worst case if i will say that if n is your let us assume truth for 10 i am assuming to total that is 1024 if 1024 divisible mod 2 i is going to 2 is equal equal to 0 yes it is divisible by 2 is divisible by 2 remainder is 0 remainder is 0 then it is it will go here conditions that is print if no prime return 0 it will go out of this function it will go out of it here you are having a return statement so whenever this if condition satisfied and in base case the first number the n should be even and in the first iteration only this condition will get satisfied only once only once this for loop is going to iterate are you getting it samajh mein aa raha hai dekhiye aap log ne ye return statement nahi dekhe dhyan se jab n even hoga to to wo dusre divisible hai usse to even mil jayega remainder zero ho jayega to to ye return statement execute hua to ek hi baar mein chala lo clear hai kya base case is going to your omega 1 omega 1 so base case is going to your omega 1 and worst case is going to that it will go it will it will run if your n is a some prime number if your n is a some prime from the day i have started the time complexity i am seeing that silly mistakes are happening okay so that's why i told you that you pay attention take your time then you give me the answer Okay. In worst case, what can happen? N be some prime number, so it will not be divisible by two, three, four, five like this. Then it will go like if you take n equal to eleven, it will be not divisible by two, three, four, five, six like this. So at that time, it will run. It will run till root of n, till root of n. Okay, root of n. So worst case is going to your root of n, root of n, and best case is going to your. This is my answer. Okay. Best case is going to your big offer. Is it clear to all of you? Anyone having any doubt? So, which option is correct? B. 